Hey guys, Brent here and I'm at a dance event, Allegria Dance Company. And in this video tip, I'm going to give you the top 10 things to consider when photographing an event like this. Do you like my feathers? Stick around and watch. All right guys, so the top 10 tips for when you're running an event and you're doing event photography like this. So we're just packing up now, so there might be a little bit of background sound. All the girls are getting uh, the gear out of here. So tip number one, be organized and be prepared. So I can't stress that enough. There's a lot of things that you actually got to bring here and you've got to set up the backdrops and everything and your camera gear. So be organized, have a check sheet if you want. Uh, checklist and you just check them off okay everything you've got everything yes good um, the second number two tip is have backups for everything you know things happen at these events like for instance tonight my flash over here the uh, wireless flash stopped working for a while so we got a backup for that which is I've got a wired backup uh, trigger cable that actually goes into that flash or that strobe over there so that's uh, number two always have backups for everything I mean it, batteries cameras flashes lenses computers everything so number three the third tip for event photography is spend time setting up the scene so make sure that the scene is as good as you can in the time lim limit that you got so I've got about an hour to set up and I've got all my backdrops you know all the floor down here because the more time you spend setting up initially means the less editing you have to do in the in the uh, afterwards you know if, if someone's hands sticking out of the backdrop then you've got to actually cut it out and it's a lot of work later on so it actually saves you time if you spend time setting the scene right getting your lights right you know testing things getting your white balance perfect you know that will help you in the long run all right so tip number four is take two shots of every group shot. I always take two shots, why? Because the one shot that you got, there's bound to be someone blinking or looking the other way. So at least if you've got two shots, you can swap heads and you can at least get something decent out of that. So number five is be prepared and be organized again. Okay, so this comes down to who's actually ordered the photos and who do you actually photograph? because we only photograph people that have actually ordered the photos before the event, before this, the dress rehearsal where we're actually photographing people. So it keeps our life simple because we're not photographing all the girls and then trying to sell the images to the parents later on. I did that for a few years. It was great, we made a lot of money, but the stress was huge because everyone's trying to order at once. So this way, we only photograph the people that have actually paid and we've got to be organized and actually know who's paid and who we photograph. So tip number six is this stuff. Gaffer tape or duct tape, but gaffer tape doesn't actually leave residue when you pull it off. So I use this stuff all the time. I actually had to go and buy some more on the way here this morning. You know, you use this to stick the, the mats down on the floor. You use it to repair things on your lights. I mean, you use it everywhere. Gaffer tape, probably the best investment if you're doing event photography is this stuff. Tip number seven is ask for help. Get someone, a instructor or a senior dancer to actually help you organize the people and get them to sit in, the, in, a, in a pose that looks good. You don't need to do it, you're the photographer. So you get someone who's at the dance company you know, to help you out. I just ask for help and they always do it. Tip number eight is expect things to go wrong. So tonight, it was quite funny. We had everything organized. My wife, Stacy, you know, last night she was entering stuff into a database and everything was organized. We had all the names that we were gonna photograph and she came along this morning and everyone was ready to shoot and she forgot the power cable for her laptop. So the laptop died, so we had no database and all that work was for nothing. Well, at least we had a backup. We had backup orders on paper and, we sh and she printed out 
the, a backup of all the people that we want to photograph. So expect things to go wrong and have backups. All right, tip number nine is be organized. And I think you've seen this a few times. Be organized when it comes to event photography. It's the, probably the biggest thing. Now be organized when it comes to printing the prints. So make sure you actually print the right people's prints. The, you know, is the person that ordered the print getting the right daughter in the, in the photograph? It's happened before, believe me. We've actually printed the wrong images and the clients come and they're like, oh, that's not my daughter, so be organized. And the final tip, tip number 10 for running a successful event photography uh, event like this is learn from your past mistakes or even better learn from other people's mistakes so over the last 10 years that i've actually been photographing this dance event i've learned from things that have gone wrong and that have stressed us out and the mistakes we've made and i've created new systems for that if you're new to event photography i suggest you check out phil Steele's, and he's a good friend of mine he's got a great event photography course i'll put the link below here Check it out, it's, it's really good. He's got some awesome tips in there. It goes into in-depth of how you get into concerts, how you do birthday parties, weddings, any kinds of events. So check it out, guys. And leave me comments on what you think is the most important thing when it comes to event photography. What do you think of this video? Hope I've given you a lot of content and a lot of tips here. I've given you 10 tips for uh, photographing an event and please please guys leave me comments below I love to hear from you this is Brent have an awesome day <laughs>